Hello everyone, welcome back. I will now be um, turning the Mac on for the first time and going through the installation wizard. So, where did I put the Mac? Oh look, my PC's gone. That's because it's gone to the other side of the room because I'll um, find a space for it somewhere. I'll put it to use again. Could probably run a server. So that's where the Mac Mini is. It's underneath that part next to the um, Airport Express and there we have it so I've literally not turned this on before uh, I've just got my chair to sit down on because obviously comfort is important oh so what do we do there's a plug you know what I like about Apple products as well is um, there is actually a huge amount of quality put into everything including the plugs and the leads Hi. Right. So there we go, it's a bit dark, sorry about that. So, now I can get my chair. What we've got to do, let's move all this out of the way. Now at the back of the Mac, I don't know which side it's on, so I'll just drag it out and have a look. There should be a power button. I believe it's this side, but I could be wrong. Let's have a look. It is over here. Okay, so let's put it back nice and comfy. And you ready? Oh, it's got it's got an inbuilt um, speaker or something in it. Sweet. That's pretty useful. So should have turned the monitor on, but there we go. We are now booting. Hopefully, there we go. And as you remember, I was using a H uh, DVI to HDMI converter. Now, some people have asked why I prefer DVI to HDMI. So, let's have a little talk. I guess they're very similar. Um, HDMI, in fact, is probably more beneficial to most users because it um, allows the protocol of sound to come through as well as the graphics um, whereas DVI doesn't allow sound unless you modify it a little bit but you, it does support high resolutions but then again so does certain HDMI leads but not the common ones anyway here we go we've got some progress so let's put this back down um, power on oh cool it's flashing um, I've not got a Magic Mouse, yet. Maybe I might get one, who knows. So, oh, okay. So, like, I'm moving my finger there. I'm not pressing down, I'm not pushing, I'm just dragging it like you would on a iPad capacitive screen or something. So, this is going to be hard to do one handed. Ah, you click it, I see. That's quite cool. Use English for the main language, well, of course. Okay. United Kingdom. English or oh, British, obviously. So we have lots of um Sean's Wi Fi's. My name's obviously Sean, if you couldn't tell by now. So I've actually got more than this but a lot of them are offline. Why have I got so many? Because they're all for different uses for different people. So if we have guests around they obviously use the guest. Um, Sean's Wi-Fi is for 2.4 gigahertz for the older computers, like um, well, or older tablets and phones. So that's useful for my partner because she's got an Android tablet, so she can't use decent speed because it won't pick it up. And the fast is obviously the 5 gigahertz range. But I'll be using Sean's backup Wi-Fi because my um, Airport Express has only just been turned on. So, it's asking for a password. Let's have a look. Okay, the keyboard's working, so that's a bonus. That should be the right password. Sorry if it's a shaky, um, for those who don't know, I'm recording it on an iPhone. 
So, do you want to transfer your information? No, I'd rather just start from scratch. Location services? Okay, that's... I'm not... Mm, I'm not sure about that. Um, actually, I do want to use it for find my Mac. Ah, okay. So, looks like I've got to log into. Oh, what happened there? The at sign is above the T now and not where the at was before. That's rather strange. So, anyway, so I will be getting a keyboard. So maybe the keys are in different spots on the actual keyboard, because there's my app, but that turned into... And that's where the app is now. Okay, uh, let's see. So... Oh yeah, that's, I've read all that. Yeah, I've read all that in that time. Let's agree anyway. So, iCloud. Oh, great. Do I have to log into this too? No, I don't. Oh, I can't show that part. So. Okay, let's um, throw in a password and change the picture. So, there's my name, but my account name could be different. And I would like it to be. Um, let's just change it to Sean. Is. It's not worth putting my last name on there. Oh well, let's see the pictures. Camera? Oh, I've not got the camera set up yet. So, what's this do? Nothing. Oh! Is that zooming? Oh, I see. Clever. So, let's um go back. And what should we pick? Um, oh! Oh, cool. Look. Scrolling up to go down, scrolling down to go up. Okay, I'll get it. It's not too bad. Works. So, what shall we find? God damn. Let's use Yin Yang. That's their job. And now I've got to put a password in, so, be right back. Okay, so we've now got the password set up. I've noticed one thing, you can probably hear the fan in the background because it's very hot at the moment, which is a surprise in England. But this is dead silent, there's like no noise at all. It's crazy. Anyway, so, there we go, we've got to set our own time zone, which is, um, these are all United States by the looks of it. Yeah, they're all for the United States. That's strange. Um, in that case, oh, there we go, let's have a look. Ah, London, sweet. So I don't actually come from London, but I live on the outskirts. Oh, okay, let's have a look. They do give you a fair bit of options. Um, unfortunately, London will have to do. Okay. That's why right, that's normally how it goes. So register this twice to keep your Apple ID and stay up to date, blah 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 blah. Keep me up to date with Apple News. No, I'd rather not, thank you. Let's continue. Your Mac is ready to use. You ready guys? I've never really used OS 10 before, but it's looking um it's very fun to look at, so let's hope it's as practical as it is uh, to use as it is to look at. So but what I'm going to do is, this was just to start up and going through the installation wizard. So I will be doing another video, oh, app updates available, that's pretty handy, 
Pops up like that. Let's hope it's not like Windows updates, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway, so this was just literally the um, start of video installation. But I will be going through some little things here and there every so often. So expect um, videos every so often. Maybe I'll be reviewing some apps. I'll be showing you around the system, giving you some tips maybe. That would be pretty sweet. But so far, on first glance, it's looking amazing. Now I'm going to finish this here so I can play around. Bye. It's on Mac products I found. Apple products, shall I say. There we go. And let's put that to the side. And what do we get inside? Let's have a look. So we get a power cable. UK British, obviously, because that's where I live. Let's take this out. Oh, HDMI to DVI. Sweet. See, I've got loads of HDMI cables, 